So my name is Mr. Johnston, and the problem I'm going to do today is uh, solving a multi-step equation with fractions, but uh, with different denominators. And we're going to be solving for m, but we need to get rid of all these denominators in the bottom. So uh, the first step is looking for uh, what's called the lowest common denominator that all of these can uh, multiply into. In this case, it happens to be 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this entire side by 12, and this entire side by 12 here. And with the distributive property, I'm going to multiply this in here, and here, and here. Now it's easy on the left side, the 12's actually cancel, leaving these with 7 over here on the left side. And then uh, 6 goes into 12 2 times, and 3 times 2 is going to be 6m. Uh, 3 goes into 12 4 times, so it's going to be actually minus 4m. And 4 goes into 12 3 times, so I'm going to have plus 3. So what I've done is I've basically simplified that, and now it's pretty smooth sailing. 6m minus 4m is 2m plus 3 equals 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And I'm going to have 2m over here on the right side uh, equals 4. And I'm going to divide both sides by 2. That's the inverse operation. I'm going to divide both sides so the equation is balanced. And I find that m equals 2. So this is my answer. But uh, the question is, is, uh, is this correct? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this into the original equation. So I'm just going to rewrite this down here really quick. And I'm going to put this two, uh, 2 in for m. And if I do that, I should find that uh, I get actually the same thing on the left side as what's on the right side. So um, I'm going to simplify this. I got 7 12s over here um, equals uh, 6 divided by 6 minus 2 thirds uh, plus 1 fourth. And uh, this actually is a little clunky because I have fractions that are obviously different denominators, but, uh, but that's okay. I can actually uh, multiply these, get equivalent fractions. If I multiply uh, this by 2, uh, basically I have, you know, 6 over 6 is the same as uh, 12 over 12. So uh, that's uh, a snap with that. And uh, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom here by 4, giving me minus. Uh, 8 twelfths because 8 twelfths is an equivalent fraction to 2 thirds. And then multiply here the top and bottom by 3. And I'm going to have uh, plus 3 twelfths. So I have 12 minus 8, which is 4, and 4 plus 3, which is 7 twelfths. And we see 7 twelfths uh, equals uh, 7 twelfths over here. Hope you enjoyed.